So what we're gonna learn today is a way to electrochemically remove tarnish. That sounds really fancy, doesn't it? Electrochemically reverse the tarnish oxidization process. So we're not actually rubbing the surface. We are going to reverse the tarnish process through chemistry, right? One of the things that can happen with our beautiful silver plate pieces is that after years and years and years of polishing, every time you rub one of these surfaces, that, fr that friction from rubbing the surface, whether it's with your hand, um, the oils in your skin, or even a mitt or glove, removes a tiny fraction of your silver plate. So after years and years and years of polishing, you go from a beautiful shiny object to just an object that has the base metal exposed underneath, which is never beautiful. It's typically pewter um, or a pop metal. It's not attractive, it's dull, and it's very difficult to get pieces replated these days. Once upon a time, there were replating uh, companies all over the United States, but since the advent of OSHA, <laughs> we don't have as many replating places. So what we wanna do is we wanna remove our tarnish in the least damaging way possible to maintain our beautiful original silver finish as long as we can. So let's talk about how we do that through electrochemical tarnish reversal. Sounds really intimidating, doesn't it? It sounds like we're gonna need a whole lab full of chemicals and maybe some batteries and some wires. Let me show you what it takes to electrochemically reverse the tarnish process. Aluminum foil, baking soda, hot water, and a vessel large enough to put your piece in. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, the first thing you do is fill your sink with scalding hot water. This water is so hot, it's actually steaming. You probably can't see that. I didn't make you watch me do that because nobody wants to watch a sink fill with water. Then you take your aluminum foil, Make a little pan for the bottom of your sink. So here we have our little aluminum foil tray. We're gonna put that in our water. And I've got some spoons to help me sink it so I don't stick my hands in the hot water. Get that nice and flat on the bottom of your sink. And then you're gonna wanna put in your baking soda, which is actually gonna be what holds your aluminum foil down long-term. And yes, I just put a whole box of baking soda in there. I'm gonna let that settle for just a second. Very fancy chemistry tools. And then I'm just going to put my beautiful tarnished silver plate. Ooh, I don't have quite enough water. And this is why I use my kitchen sink instead of another vessel because it's usually always deep enough to get an entire vessel sunk into. Then, just for good measure, I'm gonna sprinkle a little more baking soda on the top. You don't have to do that, I just like to. 
So now we have our silver plate in its soda aluminum foil hot water bath, and we're gonna let it sit for about 45 minutes probably. I'll check it at 30 and see how it's looking, um, and then I'll come back in 45 minutes if it's not done and see how it looks. Just wait until you see what happened. Can you see it bubbling? That is that electrochemical process taking place right there. Look at those happy little bubbles. Tiny bubbles. Take off my tarnish. I love standing here and watching the process happen. Okay, so she's been in about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. I want you to remember that this piece was heavily tarnished, heavily tarnished from being in the worst conditions that you can put silver plate in, outside in a non-climate controlled environment. Ooh, look at that. And I'm just, I'm just taking it out of the water and drying it off because you don't want to, you don't want to leave it wet. Obviously wet is also an enemy. So we will dry, just take it out and dry it off. See how much better it looks. These pieces also have a little silver plate loss to them. They always have had, but this should give you a very good idea about how effective and how easy. I mean, I just stuck them in the sink and let them sit. Walked away, watched some television, ate some lunch, had a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> so just ignored it for an hour. But I do see, look, there's still tarnish coming off. That really shouldn't, maybe they go back into the water for a minute. It's not the process for an impatient person, like me, but we have electrochemically polished our silver. Now I have 52 other pieces I have to do. Ready, go. Wanna see what happened to all that tarnish? Here's our aluminum foil after the process is complete. You can see where the baking soda sat and the pieces were, and then all around the edges. And on the back, there's our tarnish. And now we have ended up with absolutely stunningly beautiful silver plate that has had its tarnish electrochemically removed. <laughs>